Just to let you know a little bit about an organization called Bloom Bars. As I mentioned, this is Bloom Bars Day at the Cherry Blossom Festival. Bloom Bars is located in a community called Columbia Heights, D.C., right off 11th Street. We are an arts advocacy space, an educational space, a community space. It uses the arts to touch the heart. So feel free to come by as we are reopening. You grow we grow. Peace, this is Tamika Love Jones, and I just want to say Bloom Bars is such an amazing place to cultivate arts, community, families together, not separating those things. I was, and when I became a mom, Bloom Bars was there to help me cultivate my craft and turn it into something where I could enjoy it with my kids, bring my kids into the experience, bring the community with us, and it's just supported artists like me in so many ways. And I hope that you continue to support Bloom Bars so that we can continue to build communities. This is what we need in this time that's unprecedented, is communities, families, leaning on one another, using our art to heal. And Bloom Bars is the perfect place for that to happen. Peace. Because so much has happened here over so many years, you know, when I came in, I sat down and I just, I felt the emotion welling up. I felt the tears coming to my eyes, just experiencing all of the energy that has been infused into this building, you know? All of, all of the music, all of the love, all of the connection, all of the intention, you know? It's a, for, to me, it's more of a living, breathing space, probably than any other space I could go to, you know, in D.C. that's been, you know, made by people, you know, by humans. I, I feel, I feel the life the building itself. Bloomberg for me is the place where art and love come together. It's the place where my kids found art for the first time. They learn to express themselves through art. You bloom, we bloom. And we're all blooming here. Look at all these bloomers. <laughs> bloom Bars is a place that I think we all should um, understand that if it wasn't for places like this, we wouldn't have uh, opportunities to co cultivate our, our artistic expressions. You want it to be like, it's activated. To me, like I experience as, as activated <laughs> and a space that helps to activate others. That Boom Bars is a place for the ultimate creatives to, to, to cultivate and, and, and get themselves ready to see the world and the world to see them. Blue bars, bloom bars is a place where actually you can bloom and, and bloom into your full potential. And, and I've seen many people do it there, and I've also used that place for myself. Bloom bars forever. Peace and love. We are such big fans of bloom bars, and we can't wait to come back. We have loved making friends over there, and it just helps us feel connected to the community. Bloom bars through a fundraiser for us. We didn't ask them to do it. Um, we didn't contact them. They just invited us to participate in a fundraiser for us. That means a lot. Um, I really like taking dance classes and meeting new people. Keep it blooming. When I was in DC like about 10 years ago, Bloom Bars was really big for me as I was starting off like my comedy career and I'd never done it before. And I think I did stand up for the second time here. Because this is an institution not only is one of the few performance spaces in the city that children are able to attend because they don't serve alcohol. It's always a, uh, a family friendly environment and children are foremost uh, um, invited. It's, it's one of those spaces that are it's liberated territory. And as they say, you bloom, we bloom. And the shortest poem in the world is by Muhammad Ali. It says, me, me. I think Bloom Bars represents the me, we of our community. And they need and they should continue to be supported, cherished, Funded and exists more than ever. Keep Bloom. Our family really loves Bloom Bars. I've been coming here for years. John Chambers is definitely family. Um, my sons had their first drum lessons here. Um, 
I did some of my first watermelon day performances here. As a matter of fact, watermelon day is coming up soon. I'm also doing a residency here soon called the ABCs of Rap for three to seven year olds. This is a great community space. You come through, you donate a little bit of money, and you get a great family friendly um, entertainment every every night. And I'm glad that we're still here and that it's still pushing forward. You want to add to that, Vanessa? Yes, we, we love we love Bloom Bars. We've been here for a while. My daughter also took her first drum classes here. Yep. So we support Bloom Bars. We love Bloom Bars. But to record in this venue is a, is a beautiful experience because it's a community space. Um, so, you know, it hasn't been open a lot because of the pandemic, but now it's starting to open up and I can feel like the community awareness of the opening. They're like, oh no, it's, it's open back up. You know, so that's, that gives it another list to be a part of it. And it, I feel great to be uh, one of the ones bringing energy back into the space. Another community, diversity, uh, acceptance of so many different people. We love this place. Because everything in here has meaning. Every piece of art in here has a meaning. Every instrument is, is on the wall for a reason. Probably got a story behind it. I can imagine all the stories that go into this space. But you can feel it when you walk in. It's nothing but a positive thing. And it's just uh, adding to the city and edifying the youngins coming up and trying to elevate, you know, trying to elevate through the, the arts, uh, a consciousness and a a level of humanity that I think we're in danger of losing. Living in in Columbia Heights when Bloom Bars was just a dream. And I also got to watch that dream come true. And in that dream, there was always the focus on the children in the community. And of course, I would find so many other folks. I would find other grandmothers, grandfathers, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, caregivers. We were all there in search for a wonderful experience for our children. And we were never, ever disappointed. The programs were spectacular and always centered around children developing their creativity. I first came to Bloom Bars about a decade ago. Um, I think it changed my life because it opened me up to a whole community of artists who centered love and um, just radical love and taught me how to be an artist in my own right and every time I pass it um, I really feel that love and I feel community and safety. It's the first place that I think I picked up a guitar and sang something that I wrote myself. Um, it's the first place that uh, my band partner who I'm married to and I performed together for the first time. So there's just a lot of memories here and I can't wait for you know more people to discover it and a new generation of artists and poets and writers um, to be inspired and have each other's backs. Oh my gosh, wait, I like brunch and butter. Everything Runge said too. Also, this is the only place I've been riding my parents and it was fun for them to see me before. Also, we kind of met here. Yeah. You can do that. Nice. Thank you.